Good evening. Tonight, friends of the woman shot to death near an Albuquerque park are finding ways to keep her memory alive. News 13's Courtney Allen joins us with the details of the planned memorial for Kayla Campos. Courtney. Jackie, while there is already a memorial at the park for Kayla covered with candles and notes, her friends are working to establish something more permanent. The sight of a tragedy. Kayla didn't deserve it. Brings some peace to people still grieving. A lot of us will go over there and like sit with her and like try and spend time with her like that way. And I know like that helps me. Kayla Campos was at Bianchetti Park in October playing Pokemon Go. Police say she was shot and killed after witnessing a robbery in the park. That was the last place that she was like basically here. Everyone still misses her. As winter draws near and the roses around her makeshift memorial wither, her friends are looking for a more permanent reminder of her. She was such an amazing person. Like I feel like this is the like the least I could do. Kayla's best friend, Cody Bell, set up a GoFundMe page to raise money for a memorial bench at the park. It would create a, a space for us to visit her and like chat with her. While Kayla lived in Albuquerque, her parents moved to Arizona a few years ago, which is where she is buried. I thought like a little memorial would be cool for the people that can't go visit her out of state. Cody says he's working with the city's Parks and Recreation Department to set it up, hoping to have her name engraved on the bench as well as her favorite Pokemon. Pokemon Go, you could actually request to make a new like Pokestop, and I'd like to make that a Pokestop like dedicated to her too, because like Pokemon Go is one of her favorite things to do. Bringing a little light to the place where Kayla was robbed of hers. She touched so many people's hearts and souls, and like. I, I feel like she just deserves something like that. It will cost at least $1,500 for the memorial. Cody's goal is to have it in place by the end of the year. The GoFundMe link can be found at alwaysonkrqe.com. Jackie, back to you. Okay, thanks, Courtney. We reached out to Albuquerque Police to see if there have been any updates in the investigation, but did not hear back. Anyone with information is urged to call police.